Hey guys, so I've gotten a lot of questions on my observatory I've built. So I told a few people I'd post a video to YouTube, kind of explaining it and showing how it works. So that's what I'm going to do while files transfer from my ASI so I can process my imaging from last night. <clears throat> so pretty much I built a shed, really simple shed that the roof opens up on and that's kind of what I want to give you a tour of. Here's the scope I was imaging with last night. Uh, but anyway, basically a shed with hinges on the outside. This side has to open first, then this side. The front wall and rear wall will lay down too. It's got hinges on the outside right here. Uh, it's just held together with two bolts actually. And I can pop those out and those lay down. Uh, those don't have to move very much because I usually don't image north, straight north or straight south, but the option's there if I need to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up so I can show this opening. So, that's kind of it. The other side's exactly the same, so I'm not going to open it. But right here, I got my limiting chains, which don't have much tension on them because of all the bungees. Uh, I use this bungee rope stuff that I get at Menards. Uh, I don't know the exact size of it, but there it is. Basically made a bunch of loops through it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So there's six total loops for twelve bungees per corner. Uh, actually, this one has one less loop in it, I believe. Uh, this roof panel has a little more weight to it, but. That's uh, irrelevant. If you ended up building something like this, it would be different for you anyways. The angles I made here, so when this is closed, you can see there's some weather stripping. I still got some gaps and stuff, but uh, it's fairly watertight. Once in a while, I'll get a little bit of water on my telescope, but I usually keep it covered with a, a bag just in case. Kind of see how I angled all this. Um, yeah, there's really not much more to show other than that. The uh, If you wanted to fold down the peaks, I have a board, two by four, that I put here down to the ground. And that will support the roof. And I can unhook. It's kind of a two-person job if you want to do it because... These have to be unhooked, at least the bungees do, uh, beforehand. You can take tension off of this when you put the board there, if you lift up on this like that, then you'd be able to unhook the chain, but these are under so much tension that you'll never get them unhooked. So the bungees, you don't have the assistance of the bungees. So it takes one person on the inside opening it and the second person on the outside kind of catching it. But the way it's set up here with the bungees, the reason I did the bungees is I'm usually by myself and two, I can close it from the inside. So I'll show that.
pretty simple just pull in the chain a little bit I'm gonna grab here and help it in i did put latches uh just in case of i don't know a really bad storm but i think if there's a storm good enough to uh open this roof i think i got bigger issues than uh yeah not latching the roof so i don't use them but they're there the roof's so heavy if it opens there was a tornado and I think the whole thing's gone anyways. Just because I know I'll get questions on it. This is a floating pier. It's separate from the concrete slab so I can actually walk in here. And it doesn't transfer any vibrations. I was supposed to go down like four feet with it. I only went like two and a half feet because I got sick of digging. But it works fine. It's just a scrap metal pier I built with some Honda rotors to the HEQ5 and this one is belt drive modded um, right now it's on my RC 6 inch scope with the ASI 183 MC Pro got the uh, automatic focuser kind of <laughs> on there it worked last night it doesn't really fit it uh normally i have my eight inch raza scope on here but i wanted to try going deep last night and this scope is a thousand and seventy or thirteen hundred millimeter something like that either way so yeah i got power in underground originally i had a dome here and that's kind of why this stuff's here uh i was running off of solar for the longest time now i just got a drop cord because i got sick of that and some lights that's kind of it there's not much to it make sure if you build one you don't uh miss your two by fours when you're roofing it but I did build this in eight panels, each wall, that panel, that panel, and the two roof panels were all built in place inside of my shop when it was like negative 40 outside. And then I brought them all here on a flatbed and assembled them in place. So there's only like four screws in each corner holding it together. And then all the hinges, and four bolts and that's it so i'll get some shots if anybody wants to screenshot it and kind of go off of what i did i built this in cad before i built it so i kind of knew what i was doing but i don't think my cad drawings would make sense to anybody plus they're not exact to what this is that hinge sounds terrible. So anyway, that's kind of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a like. Uh, maybe I'll make some future videos on my setup. Yeah, have a good day, guys.